recognize the efforts being made by President Cyril Ramaphosa, who abandoned whatever he was doing to go and attend as the outgoing chair of the Sadika Troy. And uh, he went to attend uh, that very important meeting. We have got a lot of issues happening in our region. But because our president doesn't care, he preferred to be seen in Paris with uh, Manuel Macron. He preferred to be seen in London and take pictures, selfies, typical of him, with the king. And he preferred to be in Scotland and send you pictures that we have now arrived in Scotland. The president forgets that this country has a very historical bond with members of the Saudi community. And that Zambia was never a country to be informed. We were a country that was always consulted on matters happening in the region. The president has brought shame to us in, uh, within the Sadiq family by his behavior of wanting to prove at all costs that it's more important for him to be in the Western corridors than being in the Sadiq corridors. We are in trouble for those of you who are doubting that this president of ours has never taken matters seriously. Now you are seeing for yourselves. We also expect that the president will demonstrate leadership to travel to China to meet with, his Chinese, with the Chinese president so that the issue of debt restructuring can be addressed by this largest lender to Zambia. He should stop these jokes of going to see the UN Secretary General to talk about the debt of Zambia. We didn't borrow any money from the UN but, the nations. He has gone to France today, he's wasting our time in France to talk about how much do we owe France. Uh, he's, he's beating about the bush. The biggest lender, and I tell you as one that was in government, the biggest one where we owe a lot of money is China. China. What is he doing with that jet going to, mm. to France, Paris, instead of him going to Beijing? Let him swallow his pride and know that we are in trouble as a country. But he doesn't seem to understand the agency of these issues. Mm. 